Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Blood Bowl. We're going to be playing our Amazons against orcs, it looks like. This is going to be painful. Uh, we have no inducements, because we probably have the extra player. He's going to get a little bit of inducements, and Bloodweiser Babe seems like the right thing to do. So we do have our extra lineman, lineswoman, linesperson, warrior on the front line, however you want to say it. Yeah, I think Bloodweiser Babe is totally appropriate, and I think the only thing you can really do... Wizards is going to be way too expensive, so I'm not sure what else you do with 30k. I mean, 30k is nothing. So, okay, Orcs are going to be a really bashy team, so we need to be able to stay at least one space away, unless we want to bash them too. Their armor values are going to be much higher than ours. I think their strength is comparable. We'll have to see. Of course, we're playing on our field because we started the game, I think. I don't know. It could be just a coin flip. I actually have no idea what what chooses that. Not that I've upgraded this field at all, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, but yeah, those are orcs, all right. Coach Scissorheart, egg soup. Alright, that's a hell of a lot of orcs. Right, black orcs are a thing. I haven't played orcs in ages, so I only kind of sort of know what I'm looking at here. Alright, so he gets to kick off. So, with the orcs, I think we don't want them on the front line. I think what we want is... I mean, kind of a balanced approach here. Try not to leave too many holes in our defenses. Um, it's an interesting little move there. I think we move our guys over, like, around here. That could be okay. Kind of front-facing, but maybe all right. All right. Let's see what he does. I mean, if I were playing the orcs, I would put them all in the front line and bash, 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 because orcs are a bash team. But, I mean, I'm a bad player, so we'll see. He didn't move too much around. Might actually go right to this guy. It'd be hilarious. Well, we're going to have a lot of variance in our kick. Both teams lose a turn. That sucks. Okay, the ball's pretty far away. That's good for us. Let's see what he does. I mean, I think bash, bash, bash your heart away, I think, is what's going to happen. So those front line women are going to have a bad day, most likely. He's also going to be able to blitz us. But I think Orcs usually set up a cage, so he's got to get the ball, set up a cage, and move to slowly down the field. Yep, bad day for the Amazons. Fortunately, they do have dodge, so they're going to be a little frustrating to deal with. I mean, clustering us together is an interesting approach. But he does want another shot at us at the same time, so yeah, go for it, man. He's going to follow us. He did not follow us. Interesting. I mean, it's just going to push us out a little bit out of position, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, he's not following us. He's making some room. So that's probably where he's going to set up his cage, if I had to guess. That'd be a good place to do it. Playing Bash versus Orcs is going to be tough, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. Unfortunately, their strength value is going to make it super hard to deal with. Yeah, they have four strength. We only have three. Oh, that's really good for us. You got to reroll that, right? I mean, both have block. Okay, so that was good. Got to love the blitzers when it works. Yeah, so he's going to have a hell of a defensive line that we're going to have to try to smash through, I guess. But he does overpower us, unfortunately. Well, most of them do. Not everyone. Some of them have strength three. But a lot of his guys, the Black Orcs especially, have Strength 4. Okay. So we have an interesting lineup here. The only one die. Um, but if I come in over here... I think we're still only going to have one die. But I don't actually know. So, yep, still only one die. Um, line Woman. How about if I come in... Up here, and also, I don't know if that negates you at all. 
Shit, man, we got a problem. We gotta bash these guys, like, hard. Unfortunately, we're not gonna have a very good time with this. Two red die, holy shit. One die. One die. We gotta move in, like, a blitzer or somebody. Line woman. Line woman. Blitzer, you're coming in over here. We're gonna try to surround this guy and smash him. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Shit, only one die still. We have to try it. It's a push, but at least it's a push in the right direction. And then absolutely follow that. Does put you a little bit in harm's way here, but then that gets us two die for that. That's good. Push you over there. This time you're gonna stay exactly where you are. Good armor break. Not a stun, but I'll take the armor break. That gives us one die there. I'm going to take it, even though it's silly. Yeah, you should take it. There's a push. I'm going to push you up that way. And follow you so I don't get pushed off the side. Okay. Okay, girls. Um, this is going to hurt. I hope you're ready, because we could die. Usually you don't want to do this, but we have dodges on almost everybody. So I am going to do this. I'm going to move everyone up. And you go up. And then you come in. I don't even know if that's going to work. Yeah, one die. Usually wouldn't do this in a real game, but this teaches me about what's possible and what isn't. So we're going to try it. Wouldn't do this in a tournament. That is an armor break, though. Not an injury, but I'll take it. Okay. So this does play into the orc's strength. The orcs love bashy games. So, here we go. Okay, he's got to stand up your guys, obviously. Yeah, so try to smash. She does not have dodge, apparently. Or didn't allow to use it. She could get injured here. Did not. Okay, so she's, she's down. Now, of course, he's going to have an easier time doing armor breaks and also tackling. Because, again, orcs are stronger. I mean, that's even the lore. Orcs are definitely stronger. Man, all the armor breaks. Amazon are like that, man. That seven doesn't seem like it's much, but it totally is. I and mean, look at that. He has a nine armor on this guy. It's going to be tough to counter. Now, fortunately, they just knocked our Amazons down. None of these girls are injured yet, and that's even just a push. That's actually great. It's okay. Girls are standing their own. It's good. Okay, push again out of position. That's fine. Man, all the armor breaks in the world on this. Holy shit. Okay, there's something to be aware of. I just was curious with how they do against the Bashy team, and it looks like we're going to find out. Now, orcs don't really have a passing game. The orc has to be, like, right next to the guy in order to pass. If he wants to slowly make his way across the field, that's actually to his advantage. I don't know if we can knock down the orcs enough to make it so we have a hole. Okay, we gotta pick you up. Gotta pick you up. We're not gonna blitz with any of these girls, so I think we're actually okay here. If we can make a hole to get to him, that'd be great. We do have dodge on these girls. Not necessarily a bad idea. Alright, two die. Two red die at that. One die. Uh, might be able to do something here. Does a two red die play? One die play. I don't think any of these people... Oh, right, you were stood up. Yeah, I mean, a lot of one-die plays. That's two red die. It's probably not going to help us. All right, we, we got to we gotta negate some of the strength, so I'm going to... Oh, right, you can't do it. Um, you go ahead and do it, though. There's a push. I'm going to push you down that way. And no, I'm going to keep you exactly where you are. But that keeps us so that now... I was hoping we'd have a, at least something there, but we don't. All right, get him out of the way. At least a push, yeah. Push him down that way, absolutely follow. Okay, but now she's not 
marked at all, right? Still only one die plays here. I'm not loving this. Yeah, that was bound to happen eventually. That was a waste of a reroll, but what are you going to do? I like the armor break. Yeah, one of the, these one die plays are dangerous because of that reason. She might be able to dodge over here. Oh, that's a hell of a lot of time. All right. Um, I mean, that's a bad play, too. I think what you have to do is blitz for this and then worry about that guy later. If he was knocked out, shit. It was going to happen. It was going to happen. And that was even an injury. Yeah, these one die plays is not good. I need to... Um, you know what? I am going to use an apothecary. Um, Okay. No, use the original result, because that was better. I mean, niggling injury is still pretty bad, but... Well, enjoy the SPP, man. That was that was bad for me. One less player of mine on the field. Yeah, that was a bad apothecary roll. You are going to see that more often. Oh, wow, that's actually great for me. So he had to reuse, had to use one of his rerolls. So he still has one less than me. We both did it pretty early there. We are going to get pummeled. We just have to expect that, though. I mean, it's against orcs. There's no question that it was going to happen. Yep. I mean, we at least see these beautiful animations of all the armor breaks in the world. Okay, I mean, if there are just pushes happening, I'm totally okay with that. Push, push, push to your life's content. I'm not entirely sure where this ball carrier is going, but it doesn't matter if we can't get to him. And that looked like he attacked her from behind. That's not that's not kosher. Okay, a stun was bound to happen too. With the armor as low as it is, that makes sense. Okay, so he's probably going to move in. He's got to try to cage, right? Yeah, and there's his cage right there. It's a good cage on the edge of the field. A little danger if I manage to break through, but what are the chances I'm going to break through, right? Yeah, just knock my players around. Dodge is good. Sometimes dodge seems to work. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm not entirely sure. I guess it's based on the roll. Okay, so we got we got some plays here. That's a bad play. That's also a bad play. I think we're just going to get red die all around. Yeah. I think we're going to get red die all around. I'm not exactly sure how to maximize my play here. We could go for the red die, but that seems like suicide. What I want to do is I knock this guy around. I think our best chance to do that... I mean, this is a black orc, so we're going to have a hell of a time doing it. We've got lots of black orcs we need to deal with here. Okay, do this. we gotta, we got to knock these people out of the alignment here. And stay exactly where you are. If you go next to them, that just plays into their hand. So don't do that. Bad? That's bad. I don't have I don't have block. That's better. These one die plays, man, I don't like doing it. Um no, stay where you are. Good armor break. Please tell me injury. That would be fantastic if it worked, but it didn't. Okay, so we got a blitzer. There's still two red die, because this guy's right here. There's one die plays, man. Okay, you gotta stand up. You gotta. You gotta. Um, in fact, if I stand you up and move you over here, I'm gonna do it. The dodge I knew we were gonna get away with. I wasn't sure about the, yeah, I wasn't sure about the going for it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he has a free reign over there. Unfortunately, he can't go very far, but unfortunately, he is gonna be able to cage. Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting cage. He should move one of his other guys, but unfortunately they are all... Yeah, he's not going to be able to do much. I think at least one of our girls can get over there. The trouble is, can she do it and then also tackle? And that's a hard... That's harder to say. If he knocks us down, and there's no reason why he wouldn't knock down everyone he can possibly do... I don't think he knocked down everyone. The dodge... 
makes it so it's possible that we could definitely get away here. I mean, the armor breaks, making that less and less likely, but I don't know. He might get a score here. I mean, delay would be a good tactic if he can do it, and he might be able to. All right, yeah, knock down everybody. You possibly can. He's going to try to surround our players so we can't get to the ball carrier. Yeah, um, you might want to do that one more time. Yeah, there you go. And even one more if you can do it. No, I don't think you can. Okay. Oh, that's good for me. He already used his reroll. Oh, no, he, he now he uses his reroll. Okay. Yeah, you want to knock down all of my players you possibly can. Push is okay, but knockdown is better. Stuns are great for him. Yeah, and this is why Amazons usually don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe on a bashy team. And the dodge is at least something. Oh, you know what? It's the exclamation point. That's when we're allowed to... Okay, 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 okay. Can you stand up and come in over here? I'm not sure that matters too much, but actually... Can you stand up and come over here? Yeah, I mean, blitzing would be silly, but you can at least stand up and come over here against this black orc. All right, then you, I can't actually make it to where I want to go. I can do it from here, though. That's a lot of dodges. That's a lot of 50% dodges. I mean, that'd be funny, but probably not helpful. This dodge, I'm pretty sure I can just do. It'd be hilarious if this doesn't work, right? First turn, first play. Yeah, okay, so that did work. We gotta do it, I think. Um, though that's a blitz. I don't know if I want to use my blitz there. And that's why knocking down players is super valuable, because then it's a blitz and you can't do anything. Yeah, I need to knock this guy away. So I can move somebody over, but I don't know who. And that's a red die. I don't like doing red die. I think instead what we try to do... No, it's all bad. It's all bad. I can try getting over there. But that's a blitz, and I can't do that. I think he just wins. I think I misplayed this. But I think the misplay was like two turns ago. Tackle the black orc. It's only a push. Push him that way. And stay, I guess. Um, that does give you two die on this guy, though. That is horrible. But if we stay, then he can't tackle anybody. Well, he can still tackle this girl, I guess. And, yeah, we're in a bad spot. No question. No question. We're still down to one dies, but that actually worked. Holy shit. Stay where you are. First armor break of the turn. But, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. I am going to dodge... Um, that's gonna suck, so don't do that. That dodge we can totally get away with. Can you then blitz? It's only a one die. I'm not sure it actually helps us at all. I don't think it did at all. Nope, nope. He's gonna score. It's not gonna be this turn. Unless he goes for it, but there's no reason to risk it. I think since... If he knows that he, we're out of reach, I think that's obvious. Then I think what he does is he tries to delay till the end of the half. And there's no reason not to, I don't think. Yeah, if he has a strong enough cage going down the line, he just moves his guy right down here, maybe like right to the edge. And then he holds his other guys right there. Maybe puts in a, another guy, if he can, if he can spare him. To make kind of a three quarters eight cage, but basically makes it just good enough so that um, it's going to be difficult to work through. It's another stun. Yeah, there we go. So he's going to block his guy in, which makes sense. And that's all he needs to do, really. Yeah, push her away. It's a 
Good, good armor break. Also stunned. Oh man. Yeah, um, I mean the delay is almost inevitable. Can we get down there at all? It's a good question. I don't know. We do have the dodge ability to do it. The trouble is there's a lot of tackle zones to dodge through. It's a hell of a lot of rolls. I'm trying to punch an opening, but how do you punch an opening through this? That's a good question. We don't have the move ability. All right, so, I mean, he can just score is the trouble. This guy, I mean, we can blitz to this guy. We can't blitz down to this guy. Our, okay, so what we do, I think, is stand up and then tackle. I mean, these are black work, so this is going to be tough. Yeah, it's still, it's a lot of strength on the field that we just can't handle. Stand you up. I mean, again, a black orc that's only going to give us a one die, but I think we're only going to have one die against anybody, right? It kind of looks that way. Yeah. What we can do is come down here and at least maybe put the threat on him. That's a dodge, but I believe in that dodge. The trouble is, even if the dodge works, and it did, there's no chance... Yeah, see, that's the problem. Oh man, rolling right into another both down. And of course he doesn't get down because he had blocked. Probably shouldn't have done that with the line woman, but she was the only one who was actually free to do so. Okay, so he gets to score this half. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing pretty bad, I gotta admit. Um, he does not score this turn unless he doesn't have any confidence, but I, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't have confidence in being able to keep it away from him for a turn. He's able to knock us to the side easily enough that I don't really think it's an issue for him. And maybe she can work her way like partly down the field, but it's not going to be anywhere near close enough. And since she's down, I mean, she only just recovered from her stun, so it's not like I forgot about her. But yeah, he's going to block her in because he's making sure that when she wakes up from the stun, she can't do anything. That's going to be a dodge. Yeah, I mean, most of we can go for is injuries, but injuries against orcs is going to be unlikely. Possible, but unlikely. Black orcs are dangerous, man. Their heavy strength makes them really hard to deal with. The blitzers we can totally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, but the black orcs... Okay, so all we can do is basically get up and blitz where we stand. He's safe. He is totally safe. He can't do anything. We can't do anything to him. Um, so if you stand up. And then you come in over here. And then you come in over here. Yeah, that's at least two die there. But that doesn't get us to where we actually want to be. It's a little better. Push you over that way. Follow. We do get the armor break, but no injury. Black orcs are not going to let us do much except for two red die. Yeah, that's that makes sense. I can dodge away, though. I don't know if I can actually... I mean, I can't get there. I already used my blitz this turn, right. Okay, what I can do is maybe... I mean, that's a hell of a lot. <laughs> that's a hell of a lot of dodges. That's a hell of a lot of dodges. If I could actually... Stand you up. No, you are stand up. Okay, good. We're going to go for the red die. It's stupid, but I don't really see an option. In fact, you would be better for the red die, I think. No, no, because you have block. You're ready. You're better for the red die. So he gets to choose. It is both movements, so that's good. We do not wish to reroll. So he gets to choose a push, which is great. And I do want to push you. I mean, that was probably a bad move. Push you that way, but don't follow. And I'm not sure that actually does much for us. It's still a lot of dodges, maybe worse than what we had before. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Okay, nope, he scores. I used the wrong player to, to do that with. 
So he just scores. There's no reason for him not to. Yeah. So my failure there was probably getting into a place where they could knock us down. Yeah, so just go ahead and score there. There you go. So how do you battle against bashy teams? You don't let them bash you. You try to stay one away from where they are. Make them force a blitz if they're going to tackle you. Yeah, the injury is just going to stay down. KO is still down. All right, so we do have a reserve. We're still down one player. Well, and that's why we have the reserve. That's why we have the reserve. So we're not down too bad. All right, so theoretically, we're on the attack. What we want to be able to do is elf this. We want to be able to dodge through as much as possible. There's our blitzer. There's our blitzer. Blitzer, catcher. Not sure about the catcher being on the front line, so we're going to trade that out. Thrower's got to be back here, though, right? Where the hell's our thrower? Oh, did she get injured? Shit. Well, the catcher being up is good, I guess. We'll just go ahead and keep as is. All right. Let's see if we can actually get down the field. We can stay away from them. All right. Of course. Of course. That would be our... Um, yeah, that's a stun. Okay. Um, this is basically horrible. Line woman, line woman. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to gonna get right up there. I mean, we just got to deal with this guy. Only one guy to deal with, really, so think, if you think about it. Um, it's only one die. What we're going to do is coming over here. We can get her away, I think. We need to pick up this ball. 50% pickup, and then I think we get away from it. No! Frickin' pick it up the frickin' ball. I mean, it's the last... Oh, it's the last turn of the half. What do I care? Yeah, you're right. Okay, I thought this was the next half already. I, I'm a dummy. And I didn't realize that was a thing. You know what? Pass over there. He gets interception. But... Yeah, we messed it up. That's okay. Turnover. Don't care. I thought we were in the next half already. I am i wasn't paying attention. Doesn't matter. Do whatever you want in the last turn of that. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Good, though. That means we did get a second roll. Oh, well, okay. So much for that. I was hoping the knockout roll would resolve itself, but it did not. Okay, so hopefully that means that our catcher is not going to be hit by a rock. I think it's fine where we are right now. Oh, your opponent, he's placing. Okay. Um, taking more people off the front line, not necessarily a bad idea. He's going to win on people. Yeah, I mean, both sides don't necessarily want to do... Anything on the front line for different reasons. So yeah, those three women have to be on the front line. Um, and I think if we make them line women, I think that's actually worse. We probably just want blitzers, right? So move you guys in a little bit. Um, normally we'd be able to have a symmetrical team, but we can't right now. So I think our blitzer just stays off to the side, not quite in range. You guys back here actually kind of make sense, but you are a line woman. Put you up there. That might lend a little bit of your strength. So you don't get bashed around too much. Maybe. Maybe. We don't have any catcher. Oh, we live with the catcher. We don't have any throwers. I want to move these two back a little bit. Hopefully the ball doesn't go too far back, but we'll see. All right. Let's see what he does. See where the ball lands, rather. And if he has a dedicated kicker, he can pretty much place it anywhere. But I, I mean, the team's probably early enough. Probably doesn't. We can actually team reroll. I mean, I, that's good. Okay. So we have five rerolls. I mean, that's pretty good. 
Please don't make me use one. Right here. I will freaking murder you and use your entrails to hang your sisters. That's what's gonna happen. Thank you. All right. Could throw it to the catcher, but that seems dumb. So what we're gonna do is just hang on to the ball back here. The orcs aren't gonna be able to get to us. Uh, what we do need to do is start lining up what we want. So I think what we do is we put the catcher like back over here. I mean, we don't want her too far in without help. Now the black orcs being here makes this problematic because there's no way we're going to do anything with them. Yeah. So what we need to do is start worrying the other members of the team. And in fact, yeah, Blitz there will give us two die. He does have block. Push him aside. That's actually good. And don't follow him. Make him use his Blitz to get to us. Same with this. You want to make sure you're close, but not too close. Just threatening, basically. Try to give a little bit of strength to that. Okay, now we could try pushing. We're going to have a red die on all these guys, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so don't even... Don't even. Don't even try. Don't even try. We want to try to keep one square distance away from these guys when possible and he'll know that and try to try to bunch up with us and he's only able to do three tackles well four with the blitz so we just need to keep pushing him away whenever possible we can dodge away when necessary okay the black orcs we need to just okay they're good that's a dodge Black Orcs are going to be a problem. And he's going to try to box us in here. But that could be good. Because it means that all those Orcs will be focused on the center and we can move along the sides. Oh, okay. Sorry, Amanda. No long-term effect, though. That's pretty good. 2 SPP for the Orc, though. It's a problem with this low armor value. I mean, Amanda was one of our blitzers, so that is a problem. All right, he's going to try to double up on our, or maybe even triple up on our Amazons here. Okay, now if we can get our catcher down the field, we might be able to do something good. The orcs can't move very far. And I think he just realized that because he just went backwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How far can I move you? pretty far. What I don't want to do is set up a place where these guys can intercept, though. Can we make that not happen? I can probably move you over here, and that helps us break through, maybe? I'm going to have one die on you. That's not good. I should stand you up. You should stand up. There you go. Um, we need to start backing some of these people away. Either back them away, or make it so that one die, one die. I don't like any of these. We can dodge, but if dodge doesn't work, we just drop. So then what we do is we... Let's move you down the field here. I mean, with the ball, that should be pretty easy. Now, we could dodge you away and make you come up over here. It's going for it. But I think you've got to go for it in order to stay out of their range. Now, it does mean you risk being tackled. Yeah, go. That dodge was easy. It's going for it, so I'm worried about. Okay, it worked. She can't go for it anymore. These guys are free to do something, but it's going to take a blitz to do it. So let's make sure that blitz has a harder time of succeeding. Yeah, we're doing some elf shit right now. And that's actually great for us. Um, if I can line you up here, that'd be great. The dodges are going great. I mean, we just need a three or better. That's that's an average roll, basically. And, yeah, let's do some elf shit. Um, that's about all the elf shit we can do, unfortunately. So now we do the shitty part, which is the one rolls. One die rolls. Um, yeah, go ahead and follow... 
And then can you, you can do the one die roll there or there. I say you do that one to surround this guy. Kick him off sides. Um, yeah, follow him. You, I don't want you there at all. I want you, how about over here? Okay, you gotta remember Amazons have a free reign. They can walk wherever the hell they want. Dodge makes that possible. I gotta remember that. That's our strength. His weakness is the fact that he needs to be next to us to bash. So don't let him play to that strength. Or don't let him play to that weakness. However you want to say it. If we can make this a draw, I will be happy. Because it means we've gone against a bashy team. And made it work. Now he's going to try to block our line of sight here. He's going he's gonna to have to choose who he wants to bash. Now, I think what he wants to do is try to bash the catcher. So he's going to have to come down and make this guy come in. Or, yeah, I guess he can make a black orc do it. We can dodge away so far. Yeah, he's trying to kind of, gonna block the catcher. He realized that's our catcher. Okay, tackle the catcher is good. Oh, that's bad for him, though. He's got to reroll that. Or that. That also works. And <laughs> that's even a KO. Takes her off the field. So much for that plan. Okay, well, that's why I didn't throw the ball to her, because I knew it was a risk. But it does mean we're going to have a heck of a time here. That's okay. We can still get the catcher down the field, I think. But, oh, man, all the injuries in the world. That's why we don't want to play to these toe-to-toe -to -toe with these bashy-bashy teams. Okay, well, speaking of toe-to-toe, -to -toe, that's pretty much all we have left is the toe-to-toe -to -toe players. I mean, why would you ever choose to dodge, right? Okay, edge of the field's dangerous. Oh, but injury's just gonna solve the problem for me there, I guess. No long-term effects, but these guys are racking up the SPP. Holy shit. He's gonna try to... I think he's already done the attacks there, so who's he gonna... Alright, anyway. So, what do you do with the broken sailor? Um, to get the blitzer. And coming over here. That is a dodge, but I think we can totally do it. Okay, you come in. Can you do this? That is two going for it, but you can definitely make this. You're not a thrower, and that's not a catcher, so we already have a problem, but she has block and you don't, so that already makes it a possibility. Holy shit, it worked. I can't believe we got the SPP for that. Okay, so now I need you to come in over here. Sorry, you come in over here. Not there. Um, you did dodge out. That would require two going for it. We do have two rerolls, though. Okay, so the best thing to do would be to knock this guy away. Unfortunately, we had all red die to do whatever we want here. I trust in one dodge. I'm not sure I trust in two. But we're blocked in. I'm not sure what to do here. We got red dye all over the place. Okay, that's a lot of dodges. But it worked. And... I mean, that's two dodges. I mean, the two dodges might work. What we can't do is... Do too much else. No, what were you doing? What are you doing? Work your way around, man. Okay, right there is good. We do have some rerolls. We can make it happen. The dodge has worked. That did not. Reroll it. That's the last step, too. The last step we need. There you go. Okay. Um, that doesn't protect against this side, but I'm not sure what, what we can do there, aside from try to do this. <laughs> okay, if the dodge bullshit works, I will laugh. Nope. Okay. Okay. There was no chance that was going to work, but I had to try. 
every once in a while you can get elf bullshit out of an Amazon. It was worth a shot. Okay, yeah, definitely mark her. Um, by marking her, I mean you need at least two players on her. Now, if he leaves a hole, it's possible we could throw to another player. But it's so hard to tell. I mean, we're, we're only on turn 11. Well, his turn 11, our turn 12. We're farther down the field than I thought we would be, but he hasn't actually done the blitz yet. There, there we go. There's the blitz. Holy shit, a dodge. Okay, that's actually great for us. Okay, because, yeah, he was... He's not going to have strip ball. Unfortunately, he can't surround us. But if we can get a player, like, near to where we want, throw the ball to it, we might be able to make that work. All right, that was actually my hope, is that line woman would be able to do something there, but she's going to be on the ground napping for a little bit. Okay, well, now we're surrounded. Like, literally surrounded. How much dodge bullshit can you do? That's a very good question. We're not quite elves, so the answer is kind of variable. There's no way we're going to be able to bash our way out of this. There's no way. I mean, you might as well stand up. I don't think you're going to be able to do much. Um, yeah, I mean, that's going to be a red die, right? Oh, you can't even do that, because that would be a blitz. Um, you might as well stand up. Can you get over here? I'm not sure it actually does much for me, but theoretically it will get me away from you, and I'm okay with that. Two-thirds chance. I like it. Okay, so... Now we have an issue, right? And we have a couple of issues. If I can get down the field... 33% dodge. We do have a reroll. I want to try to do this. Okay. We, do, we did have a reroll, but it won't let us do it. Alright, so now he's able to tackle a bar carrier. There's no question that's going to happen. I was hoping to just get away, but yeah, dodge will fail occasionally. That's true. It's only a push. I mean, she, he's going to get the chance to push us like three times. Yeah, so that was one. Here goes two. That's going to be a dodge. And then we're going to get three. Holy shit. He's going to get four, actually. Because he pushed us in the way of this guy. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's some bad dice roll on his part. Not his fault. But hilarious. And then a blitz. Which actually ends up horrible for him. Okay, there we go. That actually got the ball away. Wow. Oh, and, that, and a KO at that. Where's the ball going to bounce? I'm just skip it, man. It's, it's fine. There's the ball. He goes next to the ball. Okay. That was actually hilarious. Just a push, 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 push. He couldn't do anything. I understand why he sent his, his Blitzer in. Or his Black Orc. Makes total sense. Alright, he's going to try to stop us from getting the ball, which makes sense. We might be able to dodge into position, but we have so few players now. I mean, yeah. Go ahead, bash. Yep. And she's injured. Wow, we're just getting injuries left, right, and center. Not entirely surprising because, you know, orcs. Yeah, how many injuries do we got? Yeah, look at that on the side. That was horrible. Trouble with low AV. Okay, one more bash. Oh, thank God. That's a knockdown. I mean, she has free movement. And I think with that free movement, what we want to do is, okay, stand up her and move her over here. That's not even a dodge. Now, what I'm basically setting up here is a long bomb, and that's usually not what you want to do. But I think at this point, why the hell not? Are you kidding me? No one can freaking pick up a ball. Okay, I was setting up a long bomb, but that turnover just ruined it. Oh, man. I can't even freaking pick up a ball. Okay, well, unfortunately, that means our two other players... We have three players that are going to get just straight up destroyed. 
And he's going to have free... I mean, he already has free reign. That's actually hilarious. But I think he has... Yeah, he has block on that player. Okay. Okay, Holly. Sorry, Holly. Miss Holm. Mrs. Holm? I don't actually remember if it's Mrs. Holm or not. You should blitz. You should absolutely blitz there. That makes total sense. It might only be a dodge. And it is. Well, dodge, movement, whatever. But that way you get three chances at it. And you're closer to the ball. Three chances? Well, two more chances, anyway. Three if you push her further up the field. Um, though now he's got to get somebody to pick up the ball. Okay, good dodge on my part. Okay, she's not dead yet. That's good. <laughs> That's good. He's going to have a lot of chances to bash these people around, though. Okay, he's going to get more die against her. Not that he needs it, but I think that gives him three die. Yeah, it does. Wow! Even with three die. Dodging away. Okay, he doesn't get any more chances. That's about as close as he can get to the ball, I think. He's going to try to line that up. Isn't that he going for it? No, okay. That guy can just move super far. All right. And that's actually not as good for me. I was hoping it'd be better. I was hoping it'd be better. Once I saw he didn't have block. But the fact that she got freaking KO'd when we only have two players on the field. So now the long bombs are only hope. The dodge, I don't worry about. The pickup, I absolutely worry about. No, are you shitting me? Pick up the freaking ball. It's that easy. Pick up the ball. She can't pick up the ball. She can't do it. It's impossible. I mean, I'm, we're moving the ball further away, which is nice. But he still has a good three turns to make this work. And chances are we're going to see another injury here. Possible. Armor break for sure. Yep, armor break. Okay, but no, no. She's actually totally fine. I think we just see every tackle, right? Not necessarily an armor break. I don't think I've actually done the settings correctly, so I might have been calling the armor breaks incorrectly. There's no way she's getting into that ball. There's no reason not to pick it up. Well, there's no reason to pick it up either. He just needs to make sure that I can't get to it, and then he wins. There's no reason for him to score unless he really wants SPP on one of his guys. Um, yeah, I mean, I should move. Okay, no, we do have we do have three players. There's no way. See, he can pick the ball. He can pick up the ball every time. I can't do it, though. All right. Is she awake? She can be awake. But to do what? Tackle this guy? I mean, that'd be hilarious. You should stand up. I'm not sure why, but you should stand up. You should come in and stand next to this guy because reasons. I don't really have good reasons, but you should do it anyway. It's about as close as I can get you anyway. Then we're going to do something stupid and possibly crazy and possibly insane. I mean, that dodge has no chance. This, though, we want to reroll both of those because she's only a line woman. The push is pretty bad. Um, go over there and follow. Now, he doesn't have dodge, but he doesn't need it. He just needs to tackle her. And then we're set. Or he's set. Somebody's set. That's all I can do. I was hoping for... I was hoping for something. We, we didn't get it. If she was a blitzer, I totally would have taken the chance. But, um... Yeah, he's just going to be able to pretty much walk down the field with this. He just he just bashes her into oblivion. It doesn't matter if it gets an injury, a dodge, or whatever. He just needs to move her over here, and that does it. He just needs to move her a square with anybody. As long as it's not the ball carrier, he can do it. I would do it with this black orc because he has the strongest. Um, okay, do it with the other one. That was actually horrible for him. Okay, there we go. Um, that was a weird move. Oh, he's going to push her off the field. He's totally going to push her off the field. Yeah, block her in and then use this black orc and push her off the field. Make sure she's no longer an issue. 
And there we go. That's the push he needs. So that gets her off. That's a KO. And he gets to walk his... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. And he gets to walk his player straight down to the touchline. And if he wants to, he can just wait till next turn to do it. Well, we have two players left on the field. It's going to be one in a second. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. I was thinking that would just doom us, but surprisingly not. Nuffle has a sense of humor. Turn 16. I don't know if there's anything we can do. Can we stop him? I mean, if you want to do something really silly, we can try it, but why? So, I'm going to go for the red die because we don't have a choice and we might as well do something silly. We're not going to be able to do much. If we get an injury, though, that'd be hilarious. I'm just going to let it go. Let it ride, man. Either one of those is good for me. That way. And you know what? Stay exactly where you are. That is an armor break. If it's an injury, I will laugh. It is not an injury. Okay, she didn't get any SPP for it. And then, yeah, two red die. I mean, you have nothing to do. These last two girls left on the field. Um... I mean, either one of those works for me, so, you know, choose the both down, but it won't have any effect. It doesn't matter. It's the end of the turn. And that's it. That's all I can do. I don't have any more players. Wow, he cleared the field pretty well. Um, I played pretty badly. And, yep, yeah, that's the GG. Wow, yeah, so I got wrecked by Egg Soup there. We did reasonably well when I was keeping our players away from his players, but then we just got cornered and pinned in, and there was nothing I could do, and just watched him take over the field, basically. Oh, man. I mean, Amazons are not elves. That's pretty obvious. Um... Got 120k. I'm not even sure we can do anything with that. I think one of our players did level up. So we're going to close this. We're going to go ahead and go into league management. Go girls. Yeah, we do have a level up here. Look at the team roster. We have some injuries. Valerie is down. And I believe that's a niggling injury. What kind of injury is that? Niggling injury. Adds one to any subsequent injury roll made against a player. That sucks. Usually I would kick a player for having such a thing. We do have another injury up here. This is one point armor value. Wow, they already have a sucky armor value. So really I'm tempted to just chuck both of these girls. And in fact, that might be what I do. We can totally buy another player and replace and be up to 11 again. Um, heck, we can even probably buy a... Yeah, we can buy a Blitzer. Having another Blitzer is not necessarily a bad idea. Let me go ahead and... Um, get a list here. Of, um, of MMA fighters. Because that's our theme for this, uh, this team. Okay, I like that name. I like Rose. So, you are now Rose Namajunas. Um, Alright, so I'll buy you. Oh, can't do any more players this type. Right, because we already have enough Blitzers. Right, 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 right. Um, having another catcher would be interesting. 6337. 6337. Yeah, I think everyone's 6337? Yeah. But if I make it so you have something, then that's catch. And I like that. Can I do another? I can totally do another catcher. So what I should do... Hold on. Cancel purchases. I want to make sure... Line woman and thrower. We need a thrower. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay, so what we're going to do is... We're going to drop this player. Since I remember how to do that. How do you turn that again? Oh, that's right. You hit the little X. Duh. Yeah, so we're going to drop these two players. Ronda Rousey, Valerie Adams. Valerie Adams has a niggling injury, but that just adds one to any armor, um, to any armor break, and we're going to need a lot of armor breaks. Ronda Rousey's got to go, though. There's no question she's got to leave. Sorry. Um, 
All right, we can buy a player now, but it can't be another blitzer. I think we've got to do another thrower. Two throwers and one catcher is not necessarily a bad idea. Yeah, actually. Two throwers and one catcher, you say? Okay, so you're going to be Rose. There you go. Um, yeah, so that could work. We're going to keep the thrower, this thrower around. With the understanding that she's probably just going to die. But I'm maybe okay with that. Yeah, yeah, that could work. That could work. That could work. Okay, so what about the level up? Um, let's roll for it. Let's see what happens. If we can get block on her, that'd be fan freaking tastic. And it looks like exactly what we can do. Then that's blodge on a player already, and that's great. And a non, um, a non blitzer too. That's good. And we could just play Amazons like all year, basically, and see what we could do to build up our team. But I think we're gonna play two more games with the Amazons. I think four games each team. That might teach me some basics. I'm hoping. I mean, I did pretty badly against those orcs, but I'm not exactly sure what I could have done. We could buy another... No, we can't buy another reroll. We can't buy another apothecary. I wish we could. That'd be fantastic, right? If you could buy another apothecary so you get a second roll. But unfortunately, we're only allowed one to one. Cheerleaders, from understand, are not worth it. Every once in a while, it makes a uh, kickoff event go your way. I think Coach Assistant does the same thing. Yeah, brilliant coaching in the kickoff event. I mean, we have 50k we can't do anything with anyway. So I'm going to actually buy a cheerleader and a coach assistant. Maybe a little bit of a waste, but that at least maybe weighs it towards our favor. With 30k in the bank, we need a win, and then we can buy another reroll. Or another player, depends on what uh, what that win costs. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Blood Bowl on PC Universe here at PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.